Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign. A campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with less equipment, less hit points, less character classes, more niche builds and of course stronger enemies, a better advent and a better chosen. It's time for Operation Potent Whisper. A pretty difficult one where we're potentially also going to fight against the Warlock and Boy, boy, we do have an interesting team available for that particular task because most of these guys are rookies in the truest sense of the meaning. We got a couple of um, sergeant and lieutenants here and Captain Hunk is, I think, the highest ranking soldier. We got a half a beaten up Mac, which is acting as our shredding device and most of the good or even moderate equipment has already been claimed. The way that I've worked with equipment in this run is it's more or less fixed per person. So just a few items I needed to double build and uh, triple build over, uh, over time. So essentially all of the good items are within the primary team. The then kind of moderate and uh, at least acceptable upgraded weapons are with the secondary team. And since we're now playing not only with the tertiary but kind of quadrucery if is that even a word portiary uh, team the d team so to speak there's not much left uh, so these are the absolute basic niche items it doesn't get more niche uh, than that most of them you probably have not seen made well normal grenades yes potentially normal rocket launchers if if someone was poor and couldn't afford a better uh, a better upgraded version and yes, certainly, other than that, maybe a flashbang grenade, but that's a, a pretty um, starter item and not necessarily an endgame item. So, let's see how well those items and low-level characters are going to deal with absolute endgame carnage. This can only be fun. Good, we're finding ourselves on high ground. We just landed lots of street right there gas station long drawn out open map which is the bane of our existence and then there is the final zone 14 turns which sounds like a lot on paper but effectively isn't that much if you think about it Orders confirmed. On the move. not if you are outgunned Speaking about which, there is the first super, super heavy turret. I can handle that. And Hunk has the possibility to hack and take over the turret. Soldier dodge increase by 33. Or squad version. Well, the result here isn't that bad. I'm going to take the dodge white. Uh, the squad white dodge bonus. But not right now. That'll happen. That'll happen once the fights are starting. 60% chance. That's not too bad. Thank God we've taken it over right away. On the move. And we found a gatekeeper right away. Well, whatever you say. Affirmative. That is unfortunate. VIP takes cover here. And Iron Lady is going to be our point person. Overwatch overwatching, I overwatching. We should not overwatch yet. No, we're not overwatching with the tower yet. That will still keep him with a, uh, in concealment. These guys, on the other hand, are 
directly triggering. I wonder why we haven't even had... No. Well, now they find out that the tower is hacked and will react accordingly. Not a single overwatch. What a pity. Good. Time for a hack. Accessing system. And let's try to get that squad reflex going. Okay, everybody has 33 additional dodge, which means we might be able to... to evade one or two hits. Good, we got combat protocol, so that is an option. Moving in. And I guess the question with this guy here is... Should we remove his cover? The answer is potentially yes. Hate to use our grenade that early, but we can't let someone flank us. Gotta deal with that other uh, gatekeeper, uh, with that other um, operative over there, the shield bearer soon. is a perfect spot for flank. I think this one here wouldn't be bad. Let's move in. Iron Lady is going to be our frontliner. She's nicely spotted out, but with the overdrive serum we should be able to survive a couple of rounds. There we go. One Viper down. Boy oh boy, somehow my PC just decides to die in the middle of this firefight. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the super heavy turret definitely is... Let me fix this. Okay, I don't know what caused it, but I hope it's gone now. So the Super Heavy Dirt is not a reliable source of damage. And we gotta continue taking enemies off the field. Okay, so time to deal with the advent over there. Is confirmed. Moving out. Not exactly, uh, not exactly closing up, but this here could be a nice little hit. Down to four hit points. That's good enough for combat protocol. Finishing off uh, the officer. Good, officer down. Next up. I 
think we gotta deal with him because he's going to use his um, his shields next turn. We can't kill. We really can't kill the gatekeeper, anyways. Position ourselves here, that would be smart. The gatekeeper will not be able to see us, won't be able to reach us. Well, not really. It wasn't as smart as I thought it would. As it's full cover, typically um, you should not be able to see through it. Spreading that guy. Super Heavy Turret might be able to finish him. Yes, there we go. So one pack is completely down. And might as well continue with the Gatekeeper. Unfortunately, a miss. Gateway. Ooh, okay. Luckily, this guy is always trying to reanimate, which is fine. We can uh, we can use flashbang to counter that. Vipers are trying to deal with the tower, and well, that's okay. Secundus, move back so that we can threat uh, the gatekeeper. Enemy armor intact. He's down to like what, four health? Yeah, uh, four armor, that is. Let's move up. Again, full cover. Can we hit the snake somehow? Together with the gatekeeper, of course. No, it does not seem to be possible. No, that's unfortunate. Good, we gotta continue shredding the gatekeeper. Yeah, that's our only chance to eventually get it down. can use weapon proximity that would be great the problem that I'm seeing is if the gatekeeper explodes we're going to take some damage but would we take it if we were standing here no that would be out of range barely all right come on Fantastic, that's a good crit. Twenty seven percent is not great, but it's better than nothing. Moving. 
Moving over. 66%, 55, that's not good enough. Can get him down this turn. Teamwork. I really want to get him down. That's why I'm using those abilities. 70%, we're going to use Conceal to up it to 90%. Right, your ranks immediately gets the aid protocol. Not much I can do. We're moving up. And that should give us one more turn. Yeah, luckily just trying to poison the turret, which is completely futile. Okie dokie, good. Wait, uh, we can't just charge in. We have anyone that is immune to Overwatch? No. Okay. That means we gotta get rid of this Overwatch. Fantastic. Overwatch removed. Okay. I sincerely hope we're not pulling another pack. Just when I'm saying that, we're of course pulling another pack. Trying to get oh fantastic that even worked uh, that uh, that worked wow that worked okay cool we have an outloader no we don't but we can start hitting that super heavy tower because it's the last turn that it will be on our side might as well prepare it. And eventually get it down. Armor still holding. Oh, we could have um, we could have countered the Overwatch. My bad. Just realized that. Trying to go for another flank. Target down. So we could common protocol, but I don't see a point in that. I like the idea of a flashbang, though. 
can't reach it. We're just going to overwatch. <clears throat> Those guys have tactical analysis, so Jarenks is going to be under fire, most likely. It was a dodge. You couldn't see it, but it was a dodge, which is fantastic. Thanks to the previous hack that we've done. So let's take a look. We killed one pack, that's two. Killed another four, that's six. We know it's 14. So with that, with those two uh, guys, it's eight. Oh boy, that's going to be a tough one. Good, let's take a look. How do we want to deal with that? So the Prime and another Spectre. Ten turns. Should we maybe pull back and just let them run into our into our position? Might not be the worst idea. Who has the map pack, by the way? No, no, no. Did we actually go in without a medic map kit? Good job, Saiken. There was no med kit left over for those guys. Good. That's a free reload. But I still think we should go back. As we were uh, just too distorted and and not really on the same page here. These guys do have lightning reflexes, so overwatch traps are not the best idea against them. At the same time, what am I supposed to do? Can't let them sit over there and just wait. It's just getting worse and worse. Where is that faceless one coming from? He was just waiting there the entire time. Okay. Good, we're concealing ourselves. Okay, the Overwatch trap in itself did not work that well. I'm the first one to admit it. But we have pulled them into the open. Which forced them nicely to fight us now. And we've gotten at least the Spectre out of it. And that whole um, eventual backstabbing that uh, the... that the faces one could have done it was also voided so it was not a bad move overall now keep in mind it cost us one turn though so 
So I am slowly trying to move forward. And as we're doing that, I'm of course trying to be in full cover. Good, both of them are gone for now. Good, I don't want to hit him now. The flashbang really would be the best idea. We're going to do that next turn. For now, I think, believe it or not, we're just going to hunker down to make us a less attractive target. really moving away into another pack can't believe that heading to that location down to eight turns I'm going. moving over I think we're just scanning here. Well, fantastic. Good. So what do we have here? This is a prime, this is a prime, and these are two mutants. Can we somehow... Can we somehow sneak by them and just say, see you later, alligator? I'm not sure. Potentially not. But boy, would that be great. Double time. Okay, time to move up and I would like to go as far as possible. Moving to designated position. We're good timing wise, but the next pack oh, this is crazy. They have so much firepower. moment that they are coming to here it's on luckily they decide to go back which could be to our advantage if we could sneak out and just leave them oh boy that would be great how could we do that though these windows are a problem. I'm just charge in. No, no, no. That's not. That's not clever. can move towards the wall. Target eliminated. Place this one eliminated, that's good. Moving up. Got some 
Oh boy, we're seeing more advents, okay. Well, those two in itself are not a problem. Or by themselves are not a problem. It becomes an issue if the others would uh, join in. Removing cover. Hitting that guy and hitting him well, that's good. And let's kill him. Good. The dangerous uh, target of uh, that peg is gone. Moving up all the way. Our sniper gets into a better position there. trying to bypass that tower. Eyes on hostile patrol. Okay, we definitely do not want to pull those guys. Wait a second. Not too close. Yeah, let's position ourselves there. Damn it, we triggered them. I was low-key hoping we could just move on and not trigger them. would be an incredibly helpful advance at the same time <clears throat> we want to use the flashbang because this flashbang here would help us a lot problem is there is a mutant We gotta get rid of the mutants. Good. Moving out of range so that they can't immediately shoot me. Dealing with the flanking purifier. <clears throat> we are hunkering down. Yes, please. Fifty fifty. What is our pistol damage? Three to six. If we were to go to here, that would flank. It's a good chance that we would kill him. I'll take it. Better than a 50 50. Good, so that guy is gone. And we do have a couple of problems here. Position ourselves right there. Just potentially the right uh, call. 
move all the way to here and get rid of the mutant which is what we likely should do whom else would we see if we're standing here tells me there is a second one that we can see potentially one of those guys this is maybe a tiny bit too aggressive here and taking that spot as mentioned we need cover I don't want to be fully out of cover we would flank him okay that's not great it's not bad either Unfortunately, can't really get in there. Fifty-fifty. We could suppress him. Oh, well, that's not great. He's just going to move up and melee us to death. Likely not a. Likely not a kill. I mean, this here would be an option. Like, if someone moves, it immediately blows up. But then the overwatch shot needs to hit. the high ground here that's not too bad that might work come on really good damage could move up problem is I am aware that there is another pack here I really don't want to trigger them Just move to here defense high cover weapon range could only get three percent points better than we currently have so it's really not that great. Advanced stock would just barely not kill him due to his beloved armor. Gotta, gotta love that. Go. We're playing it efficient. Reload. I'll stay in full cover. This here is a grenade target spot, but I gotta risk it. And let's get that pyro down. Fantastic. Okay, we could have a little proximity mine play here, or we're just going to kill the pyro with a flanking shot. Get it together. Good. Can't have it all. Fantastic. Slower movement, no grenades, no blazing pinions, which is why you see them overwatching.
Okay, five more turns. Oh, we gotta get to the exit, but we're almost there. Can't stop now, right? will trigger an overwatch but he is disoriented I will remove the overwatch the problem is he removed our cover got to deal with that guy down to 246 that is good enough I gotta trigger the overwatch due to um requiring no problem, boss. lightning reflexes so no aid protocol unfortunately and I need the combat protocol to kill the pyro good Secundus moves up. Last shot before we gotta reload. I require additional ammo. Overwatch. Okay. Good. We can play that game. He's not marked. into full cover gotta be still careful not to trigger Come on, crit him. Oh, dodging is the exact opposite of what we wanted. But this might be a kill. Alright, placing pinions. Again, moving away. Wow. We are so out of resources. Let's kill this guy. Come on. Just going to get out of here, guys. Seems to 
Move in. Move in. Moving. Punk has full armor, uh, full hit points, so might as well position himself there. Gotta get our sniper out of here as well. That one prime isn't worth it. So it does it take fall damage? Maybe not sure. Still decides to be annoying. Yep. Sure. Not sure about the action economy, but. A better advent, if you say so, then it might just be like that. Absolutely fantastic. Ninety-three percent shot is missing. This is getting comical. Whatever you say. All right, come on. By the way, we lost the mission. What an absolute shame. The VIP literally just had to walk out. Closing on target position now. I will comply. On it. The VIP literally just had to walk out. But no. The Spectre fell down. Blew up in one go, used Shadow Bound, repositioned afterwards, and then say. sniped our VIP. Location confirmed. The only uh, way that I can explain that is he had some of uh, the extra um, turns stored up. Yeah, that was definitely a poor play. <laughs> what a mission. Good, and we're landing. Well, at least everybody survived, except the VIP. And we got a promotion out of it. Um, let's get Blade Storm, because Implaceable would be the better skill there. Can't believe that. We got XCOM. Oh, and we even lost Eastern US. Holy shit. Research is proceeding. Ah, we're as continuing planned. with modular cannons. Uh, wow. That was rough, guys. Lost tactical analysis. And we need Intel. Avenger plotting new course. Fun fact, how to lose 
a region. They're not doing anything wrong. It's just shortly before uh, the mission ends, the VIP gets sniped. I could have just left him back, but who would have guessed that they would actually snipe him? Anyways, we're taking two EMP bombs, because those are good for stunning sector pods and sector pod primes, and also gatekeepers and gatekeeper primes. And I mentioned it a bit earlier, they can also remove the shields from the shield bearer. So a couple of few um, nice options there. And we just got ourselves a sniper. Well, we have a fresh supply of rookies, I would say. So in case we're running in yet another difficult mission and are losing some, there well, are plenty of rookies left over. Cabanero is with us. Um, return fire, yes. Dead eye, yes. Okay, the and there we go. Modular cannons are done. Fantastic. Let's get into because we want to regain contact with all of the regions in North America. Do you not yet understand the price of defying the elders? Was the pacification there we go, 150 intel. Unfortunately, not a research breakthrough. We're now going through the Shadow Chamber, as there are a couple of research projects as well, Codex Brain, and that tells us we really need to uh, do the Black Side facility soon. Now that we've built the Shadow Chamber, we should be able to complete a more thorough analysis of the alien artifacts and data we've been recovering. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Attempting to establish and there is a retaliation mission in North America because apparently enemies uh, want to make sure that we do not get tactical analysis anymore. Mutant Infector Codex Mamba and Firestarter Prime. That's an interesting one. I haven't fought against a Firestarter Prime yet, so that will happen in the next mission. This was a long episode. Thanks guys for watching. If you enjoy the content, if you like this gritty, messy, choose to lose experience, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.